REZ 2019-04, Southeastern Freightline. Ms. Molly, the Thank floor is you. yours. Thank you very much. This is a request to rezone approximately one acre from R1 to M2 and 17.96 acres from CH to M2. The subject property fronts U.S. Highway 84 West. The motivation is to expand a well-established existing truck terminal. And concerning the comprehensive plan of future development map, the property is located within the urban service area and depicted as a community activity center character area in which M2 zoning is not listed as a permissible use. However, conditions include, considerations include that the applicant has operated at this location for approximately 30 years with no formal complaints registered with the county. The economic development factors associated with the request, the investment in community and economy and expectation of additional jobs, the proximity to I-75, the existing M2 zoning nearby, approximately a half mile away just on the other side of I-75 at Savannah Avenue. The applicant is currently tied on to county, and water, county water and sewer. Increase in truck and vehicular traffic. <coughs> the TRC considered this request at the February 19th meeting. Zoning did find the request inconsistent with the comprehensive plan, but there were no other objectionable comments. Staff encourages a recommendation of approval with the following condition. The use of the property shall be limited to the principal use of a terminal for freight by truck and accessory uses incidental and subordinate to such a facility. Well, is that a condition? Yes, yes. It was, it was on our desk when we walked in tonight. It was an updated. Yes. An email. Yes. Oh, okay, I see. It's not on this condition. It says that. Yeah. Sorry, ma'am. No problem. One condition. Additionally, I uh, gave hard copies of the conceptual site plan. Are there any questions for staff? So there's a um, rezoning and a conditional use. It's not what conditional. It's rezoning with a condition. With a condition. Oh, okay. Okay. Let's see the condition. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> Madam Chair, well, I'm just curious from, from our work session, we had some intense conversation about 30,000 square feet that, that they were proposing, and that's if it was within the limits of M1, but we're a little bit more intense going to M2. Is there any, is there any driver that's making that go to M2? Just curious. M1 is not a possible use for that, for, for a freight or truck, trucking freight. So it's really the 30,000 square feet is a non-player in that. It triggers from CH to M2, the 30,000 threshold. CH is appropriate up to 30,000. At the work session, we were looking at the wrong item in the use table. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> Two different kinds of freight operations and truck and terminals. Okay. I was just about to ask. Moving and storage. The other is like for moving companies. Okay, that answers that question. Okay, are there any other questions for staff? Okay, all right, is there anyone here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? If so, please come forward. State your name and address, sir. My name is Kyle Hoyt. Uh, my address is 575 T House Lane, Mount Pleasant, South Carolina, 29464. I am the civil engineer and applicant here on behalf of Southeastern Freight Line and Ms. Stevens. Uh, appreciate the Planning Commission's time, appreciate Molly's report. Uh, I think it's important to clarify that they currently operate at their current condition, that they are in approved use. Currently, under the CH zoning, is the 30,000 square foot trigger that is pushing us to the M2 zoning. Uh, Southeastern Freight Line is currently under contract to purchase. The Stevens property and to expand any further requires M2 zone. Uh, I'm happy to answer any questions the board may have. Any question for the presenter? Kyle, but is it, this, is, this is just really like an L off the bag for additional dock space? Correct. Yeah. And, and if you, 
if you follow the, the aerial imagery, you can see they purchased the property some time ago. And each terminal is set up to expand linear off the back. So you can see where they've added on. Mm -hmm. This is actually unconventional. We're just trying to make the, the most out of what we have, and that would be good to an L configuration. Um, Mr. Hoyt, I have one question. We noticed last week that even though there are two driveways for this business, there only seems to be one driveway that heads back toward the actual warehouse. Correct. And is that enough for the expansion that you're planning to make? Yes. One drive? Yep, one drive. Uh, we, would, we would be planning to keep the existing access as it is. I think one of the misconceptions about freight terminals is although there are a lot of dock doors, uh, those trucks are kind of dispatched or come in um, over a several hour period. Um, not, not all the dock doors service uh, here locally. Uh, there's a number of different operations that come out of here uh, where, where freight will come in over, over, over the night, you know, and be put on a, a, another truck to keep going further down the line. So it's really kind of, that, that existing entrance is adequate. Uh, this Molly, there's no guidelines or anything regarding um, the entrance for that, right? Correct, but that will all be addressed at the design phase. Okay. Perfect. All right. Okay, Kyle, if I ask a question, this is totally out of the realm of planning and zoning. I'm just curious. I'm just curious. With this much expansion, can we anticipate that there's going to be four bottles working there every day? Yes. Most definitely. That's a good thing. Yeah, and I, I, honestly, I've been working for Southeastern Freight Line for, I guess now, it's been about five years. Uh, they are family owned and operated, so they are very different than a lot of the major carriers. They are owned by one family. Uh, there's no board or anything. They are a great organization. That's good to know. Thank you, sir. Yes. Thank you, sir. Is there anyone else here tonight who wishes to speak on behalf of this request? If there is, please come forward. All right, anyone here tonight who wishes to speak against the request being presented? Anyone who wishes to speak against? All right, if not, I'll turn it back to the staff for any further questions. Not the staff. All right, if not, I will entertain a motion. <clears throat> Madam Chairman. Chairman. That sounds pretty good, don't it, Madam Chairman? Uh, I'd like to make a motion that we recommend approval to the County Commission with the one condition as stated. Okay. All right. We have a second on that motion. Is there any discussion on the motion? I didn't hear the next part about condition. Just the one condition that's recommended by staff. Okay. All right. If there's no other discussion, I'll ask for the vote, please. All those wishing to vote in favor of the motion, raise your right hand. All those wishing to vote against, and that is unanimous. Thank you very much. That concludes.